thoughts on the play where GP2 got injured by Brooks? Uh, Steve just said he felt like Brooks broke the code, the player code. What were your thoughts? It was kind of out of line in terms of defenseless player going up for layup and him taking a huge wind up and everything that everything bad that could have happened in that situation did knocked him out of the game. You know, see what happens with uh, his injury. It's obviously a tough way to start the game, but um, we'll see what happens. Obviously, it was definitely. <laughs> Talk about flagrant twos, definitely one of those. So made the right call there. But um I feel bad for GP. Like this is his time to to shine in a series like this. And a play like that knocks him out. So it's tough. Steph, you were right there and you immediately waved over. I mean, you could tell, I guess, immediately that was problematic for, for GP two. I was more so making sure well, I was everybody was frustrated about the play. Um GP's tough, so when you see him in pain like that, you know it's not something light. So, tough situation. So, what happens in the huddle after that? What happens when you guys are are you thinking about that? Are you are you mad? Well, where does the emotion go after something like that happens? It was like eight zero at the time, so we're obviously trying to get settled in the game. That play happens, it, uh, pisses you off. You have a reaction. You understand there's. 45 minutes left in the game, you got to kind of try to settle back in emotionally. We did a really good job until the fourth quarter where uh, we just had some boneheaded turnovers. Myself, you know, right when I got back in, two turnovers leads to two threes, gets them life. We come back with the lead. And then I know we got to look at our shot selection in terms of making them really guard us, especially if we don't have the three ball going, like we really tried to force it to happen tonight. And uh, you, you can live and die by that in terms of, you know, hoping that the the dam opens up at some point and it obviously didn't for us. So we got to understand how to finish a game if we're not shooting the ball well with the type of shots that we're trying to get. Seven of 38 from three of the team. I think you were uh, three of 11. Did you, I mean, did you like the looks you got or? It sounds like he maybe did. It's one that it's part of our nature. And we, you know, it's, it's who we, we are, who we have been in terms of, you know, letting it fly all over the court. But there's another level of awareness in terms of, you know, I don't think they really did anything to take us out of those, you know, good possessions. We just either were rushing trying to force a pass that wasn't there or the rushing turned into, you know, quick shots that obviously we take them because we think we can make them, but you have to have the awareness of the way that the game is going and what's really going to help us win a game like like we had an you know, opportunity to tonight uh, with Ja doing what he was doing every possession and he was, you know, he was making us pay on, on a defensive end. We were coming down and kind of let them off the hook a little bit with the shots that we were taking. So, got to settle into what's going to really help us win games against a team like that. With all this playoff experience through the years, what has this team learned about how to bounce back from you know tough physical playoff losses like this? It's it's in our it's in our DNA. We know what to do. Um, that's why it. Like a game like that down the stretch where, you know, it's a possession here, possession there, last six minutes, like we feel like we should win those type of games. And when you don't, it, it's a tough feeling. Um, but we understand the big picture. You know, we came and got one, take care of our home court on, on Saturday. You have to learn the lessons you need to learn. And obviously every uh, series that you go through, you're obviously playing a, a better team that's um, – you know, going to be a, a tough challenge and presenting a tough challenge for us. So we know we're ready for it and we're ready to bounce back and get ready for, for the game on uh, Saturday. And like I said, make the necessary adjustments when it comes to turnover, shot selection, and uh, sticking to our defensive principles. Steph, uh, what, given how quickly, how soon after Gary's injury, then Draymond goes down hard, what was sort of the emotional impact of that? Were you worried that that was something serious? And as Steve put it, he kind of gutted it out, it seemed like, because his eye was clearly 
swollen and affected. Yeah, it was a lot going on that first quarter. I mean, we didn't really have time to think about it too much, except during timeouts and you know asking around to make sure he was all right. But uh, I didn't know he was going to come back um, until uh, I had to get my hand looked at um, at the end of the first quarter, and I heard, heard he was going back out to the court. So obviously that was a relief. But there's a lot going on for sure. Um, on top of it, they came out with a crazy run to start the game. So we fought, but just didn't get it done. How did Draymond look? Did he rest the game? Was he normal? I mean, besides the way he looked, yeah. <laughs> Two questions. First off, what happened to your hand? How does it feel now? I'm fine. There's nothing. Okay. And then um, as for, like, with what happened with Gary Payton, knowing that he has a fractured elbow, um, and also what happened with Draymond having a swollen face. Do you, does that add like fuel to the fire going forward? Are you guys going to play a little bit harder knowing that Gary Payton could be missing so significant time? I mean, the, the loss itself motivates you because uh, we, we let one get away in terms of some self-inflicted wounds with turnovers and shot selection that are going to, it's going to be a long three days with that feeling, but we understand what we need to do and how we need to play and the things we need to focus on um, and commit to doing that come Saturday, feed off our home crowd's energy. Um, we've been in a lot of different series that have taken a lot of different twists and turns. Um, and like you say, start on the road. We wish we could have got two, but we got one. Um, make the necessary adjustments, come with the right mentality on Saturday and, uh, and just play better. Steph, you and Memphis have been competitive um, over the last couple of years, but does it, the first few games of this series, does it feel like it's ratcheted up to a different level? Is, are you surprised at all by the intensity and physicality that is happening here? Not at all. It's a playoff series. It's, it's what, it, what it should be. It's what we're used to, um, no matter what team it really is. So, um I think when you look at game one and game two, it came down to possession two down the stretch, and we still feel like um, we can play a whole lot better in terms of the things I've been talking about, you know, since I've been up here. So, um, so what, what the playoffs are like, it's a lot of adversity. It's a lot of adrenaline and emotion and back and forth. Just got to win four games somehow, some way.